I'm going to share with you how to build any type of WordPress solution using the ultimatum theme. Yes, I mean any WordPress solution. In fact, you can actually build other themes with the ultimatum theme because it's a theme framework. Premiering in August uh, 19th, which is a Tuesday of 2014, I will be launching a no holds barred amazing course on building the top 10 theme forest themes say that five times fast using the ultimatum theme so this is a little teaser as to what can be done with the ultimatum theme i use it all the time because it's my absolute favorite go-to no fuss no must now i'll be very candid with you the ultimatum theme can be a little vexing a little overwhelming if you don't understand how it thinks you get, I'm sure if many of you have tried to use this theme before, and you're like, ah. If you don't understand how it thinks, you don't, you don't know what it expects from you. You don't know how to use it. Therefore, it's not going to work. You're going to be frustrated. So let's take this one step at a time. I have a brand new installation of an ultimatum theme. Now, to share with you, this is the same theme I used to build and redesign my new website. Finkhorn earned a guru, which got redesigned by one of my wonderful students, Mary Beth. Uh, she did all the graphics and everything. I put it together. Uh, don't make fun of that avatar that was done, that was built by people over at Adobe, which I thank them for doing so, but I look like I'm from Egypt. No disrespect to people from Egypt. I've been there. I love Egypt, I, but I don't really look like that. That's kind of close. But anyway, I'm going to share with you one step at a time how to basically squeeze the sponge. And I really mean this. Squeeze the sponge on the ultimatum theme. So let's get started. Now, if you know anything about how I work, I always like to have a front end and a back end. So I'm going to copy this command T, control T, to make myself a new window. And there is the front end. I'm going to take the site move that over. So here's my front end. Here's my back end. My back end is going to be dashboard. Now, if you'll notice that I can't see anything, well, because I haven't done anything with the theme. Yes, very important step. The theme has been installed, and I do have content. So if I go to post, I have my basic bread and butter, hello world, and my basic bread and butter pages, sample pages. But why can't I see anything? Well, part of the reason you can't see anything is because you're not using the theme framework the correct way. So the first thing that we'll need to do is go to ultimatum templates. Now, already have a template, but the template is not set up by default. In fact, it's telling you right here, you have a template, but you don't have a default layout or default template. So what I need to do is come down here and set this as my default template. Once I do that and I go back into the front end, then yes, I can start seeing my content. There you go. So here's my ultimatum theme menu, and here's my Hello World page. All right, now, I want to break this down and make this so incredibly simple for you. So if you have a pen and paper, here's how the theme thinks. Here's how it works. It's a theme framework. Theme framework is based on a parent-child theme. Now, we're not going to talk about child themes right now. Of course, I go into great detail in my all-access ultimatum theme course, which I highly suggest you sign up for. In fact, the only way to get deals on this is through my valued all-access students, and I'll talk more about that in a later video. So here's what we need to do. All right. The ultimatum theme works on a theme parent theme. So basically the breakdown is parent theme, child theme, child theme, template, template, layout, layout, rows. Rows are also div tags or also could be HTML5 article tags. Those rows contain widgets. The widgets contain content content pages, content posts. So if you miss any of those steps, it's not going to work. So you have to have a template, which we do. We just set our template by default. So therefore, we can see information on the front end. We have a layout by default. But if you create a new layout from scratch, that layout has to be set up by default. So if I select layout right now, you'll see that that is actually set up as my default layout. How do I know that? Well, it's the only layout I have right now. If I delete that, I can create a new layout. Now, there's two types of layouts when working with the ultimatum theme. There are partial layouts, which can be used for headers and footers. Now, just like I could have multiple layouts, I could have multiple headers and multiple footers and multiple slideshows. So we're going to do a lot of really cool things, but I just want to demystify and get into the nuts and bolts of what makes this theme framework so amazing, so incredible, and how flexible that this theme is. Incidentally, if you don't own the Ultimatum theme, 
you sign up for my course and the ultimatum theme is included with the course the full $125 version of ultimatum theme which you can install on a gazillion websites well I haven't tested that theory on a gazillion but I have it on over probably close to 340 websites I have the ultimatum theme on it's my favorite all to number one theme since I discovered it two years ago so here's what we need to do first of all we need to put some content in here now if you know anything about how I like to work I'm a lazy guy I don't like to reinvent the wheel and I want the software to work for me so if we scroll down here to the bottom what we have here is something called WP example content it's a free plugin I highly suggest if you guys are going to be doing comps and stuff for your clients to utilize this plugin it's absolutely amazing so before we do that the first thing I'm going to do is come up here under post and I'm going to get rid of my default post which is my WordPress post I'm going to trash that and I'm also going to come down here to pages and I'm going to trash my pages which is my sample page now before we move forward again my objective is to share with you proper techniques the same way that I teach all of my students is the same way that I do it myself based on my 27 years I'm 55 years old didn't touch a computer until I was 26 years old okay so if there's a better faster way to do this I want to share exactly how I do it so it's like on the job training and that's what separates my training from other people out there yeah there's tons of free WordPress stuff out there but if you want to really know WordPress with SEO and marketing and sales and ad creation and ad tracking and everything else that that WordPress will do for you then if you take my classes I will share those techniques with you so it's not just about some guy doing a slideshow or a video presentation it's about real-world possibilities and how to squeeze the sponge and get it done because if you can't find your site if you can't find your site your client site or your site through SEO and search engines then what's the point all right so now that we have this set up the first thing I would definitely go ahead and do under categories is I want to basically categorize this I don't want an untitled category so I'm going to select this and I'm just going to do online training because that's kind of what this site is about now the other thing I would probably do is I would word salad this up down here now whatever you type into here it will come up with hyphens the second you hit the return key the update button so if I go back into this you'll notice that WordPress put the hyphens in there and that's a really important part of working with WordPress now what I'm talking about right now has nothing to do with the ultimatum theme this is just WordPress stuff now don't be lazy about this what do I mean by that well word salad this up put whatever kind of description information anytime you have a post or a page or anytime you have the opportunity to put some word salad in there definitely do that for yourself you will thank me for it you'll be way ahead of the game now the next thing we want to do before we go forward is just talk about some very basic WordPress housekeeping techniques or tips I should say so under settings here's what I always do I go under discussion and I don't want people writing comments on my blogs because I want to prevent spammers real-world stuff I don't want to allow people to write articles I want people to be registered if in fact you're gonna write an article and I want to approve anything that kind of gets past the goalie then based on these choices I want to use the Gravatar logo and I come down here and save the changes now the next thing I want to do and again if you're creating a website whether it's WordPress or an HTML5 website in Dreamweaver which of course I also teach that as well by the way is I want to come up here under per permalinks now yeah you want to make your site search engine friendly now this would certainly work if you're going to be doing a lot of posting and you want to track it that way but what I typically do is just pick post name I just want the post name to come up in my URL right up here so those are the two things I would do and I would definitely put some information in here to get into search engines I save the changes now if I come back up here and go to visit site I could see the site starting to come together now I don't have any content so that's what we're going to talk about in our next video adding content using the free plugin I just talked about a few minutes ago so stay tuned